How you doing, Connie? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. I got a question for you. What's that? What accounts for over one million hospital visits every year? I don't know. Any idea? Like, just a guess. Slipping and falling? You bet. Slipping and falling. Slips, trips, and falls account for one million hospital visits every year. That's a lot. And although they're not the primary cause of fatalities in the workplace, they do represent the primary cause of lost time injuries in the workplace. Okay. That's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. So let me ask you this. How can you avoid a slip, trip, and fall? I'm like, look before you walk? How about just looking before <laughs> you walk and where you're stepping? Have you ever noticed some of the people in the crosswalk? Cell phones in hand do, do, as do, they're do, walking. Do, do, do. I have no idea there's something coming. Right. Yeah, not, not, and, and not to mention that they're crossing in between feeder traffic. Right. And they're not even looking where they're going. That's scary. That is scary. That's really scary. So, you know what's the big difference between walking normally and having a trip and a fall? What's that? Half an inch. That's it? Half an inch. Half an inch is the average. If you have the pavement or something in your, op in your way that's a half an inch higher than the rest of the pavement. Huh, like that crack right there. Like that crack right there. There's a good possibility I'll you may have crack. a trip and a fall. <laughs> yeah, knowing you, you'll walk I right to that too. crack. <laughs> so the moral of the story is, please, use the eyes that God gave you. Watch where you're stepping. Don't walk with your phone in your hand, okay? Be professional. And if you're not a feeder driver, please, don't be walking to the crosswalk with your phone in your hand looking down. Not a good idea. No, it's not. So, with that being said, be careful, be safe. Have a good day. Have a great day. See ya.